What's up, everybody? What's up? Nothing? Aw, oh, man. <laughs> but, uh... Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another For Honor video. Today's video, I want to teach you guys about Shaolin. Well, um... I want to teach you guys about uh, how you can get started with Shaolin, or how to play them, and how to get started with them. Um, now, for me, I don't play Shaolin that much, but I know a bit of moves that you could use with him. A bit. A bit of moves. A bit of combos and everything. A little bit. Out of stamina punish-wise, there's one that I know, and we'll just get on through that out in We'll just get onto that in the video, my bad. <laughs> so in the video, I'll teach you guys how you can get started with Shaolin and um, what to expect with him and my thoughts on him in the For Honor meta today. And also guys, I want, I want you guys to like the video and also subscribe to the channel if you are new to the Wrapped Pack and everything. And come join the Discord. The Discord link will be in the description below. And also join me on Twitch as I stream For Honor on Twitch and I just like to have fun um, playing games and everything. And I'm thinking about doing... Uh, little bit of a fight club on for honor i don't know it is it's it's debatable i just don't know yet i'm still like figuring out what what to do with the fight club and it's gonna be my very first time doing it so yeah and also guys i want you guys to tell me in the comments um what other thing do you want me to do besides for honor are there any other games you want me to play on the channel like do you want me to play like something new on the channel like i'm thinking about doing some new stuff here on the channel as well like maybe some uh let's plays some gameplays or something let me know in the comments again but yeah without further ado let's get straight into the shaolin guide with his combos and mix-ups let's do this okay so shaolin's combos and mix-ups now shaolin has a really unique combo like really really unique combos and good mix-ups too that you can use with them in uh duels dominion brawls anywhere pretty much but there's something I want to let you guys know is that this thing, it worked on me a lot. Whenever I faced another Shaolin, they would usually do this. They would do this. It would pretty much be RB and RT on Xbox. On PC, I do not know. Um, but on Xbox, it's RB and RT. Same with PS4. It's I've, it's the same thing on PS4, but different. With di different different numbers, different everything, okay? Jeez. <laughs> um, so yeah, with uh, this, you basically do this. It's a limitless chain that you can do with uh, Shaolin. It's, well, it is somewhat effective, I can say that. Because sometimes Shaolins, they will do that, and it does work. It really does work. So if you want to do this um, to confuse your enemy and everything, because, because you don't know what... Well, they don't know what you're going to throw out. Like, they think that you're going to probably just go for a guard break. So, okay, we'll just wait for them to guard break. Or they think you're just going to go for, like, a maybe an unblockable or something. Okay, we'll just wait for the unblockable. But no, you just keep on doing this and just confusing them as much as you can. And it is it is good, but I got I, I to gotta tell you guys, sometimes... You will get punished big time if you do this a lot. So do it like wisely. Don't do it all the time. Just do it wisely. Don't do it all the time. It's a really good tactic that you can use your Shaolin. Um, another one that I can teach, you, I can show you guys is it's not tricky. It's just it can, it can be a little bit tricky, but it's not. It's basically his three light chain, the death point strike, which is basically you hold this. You see the cursor? It's right here on the left side. Hold it right there on the left side and basically go for RB, RB, RB. That there's pretty cool. So you basically press RB, RB, and you delay it a bit for the last one. So that's what you can do with Shaolin. It's kind of cool, honestly. And, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, I want to get in that one yet. I'm not... Hold on a minute. I'm trying to teach you guys. Now, um, this... Basically go for that. Don't try to spam it a lot. Well, I mean, don't try, don't spam it all the time and everything because um, the opponent can catch up onto it. And with Shaolin, it's it can be parryable. It can be very parryable if they um, are just pretty much waiting for that. So yeah, so yeah, pretty much just don't try to like spam this side. Don't don't spam that that much. I mean, the the opponent will basically parry you. Um, once they start catching onto it, 
I'm just uh, warning you guys and everything. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys is Shaolin Stance. Now, there are two ways you can get into Shaolin Stance, and that's where all the fun mix-ups and combos come in. So basically, you got two ways. The first way is with the light, by holding it. This is where he's in his stance and everything, and you can do anything you want to in the stance, pretty much. You can go up, you can go left side, you can go to the right side, you go anywhere. So if I were to go up, I basically get a stun on the top. I would basically stun the opponent right there. And if you wanted to go to like the to the left side, you pretty much would get a light. And if you wanted to go to the right side, you would also get a light. But in the sense right there, um, they were blocking it, so yeah. Uh, pretty much, it's the same thing for the lights. Now, for the heavies, um, for the heavies in this state, you can go for uh, right heavy. And you can also go for the left heavy. Wait, I just mixed it up. What the heck? <laughs> no, right. you can go for the right heavy and you go for the left heavy. My bad. I just didn't mix those up. So, yeah, this way is the right side. This way is the left side. So, you can go to the left side with this way. Go this way to get that damage in. Or, you can go for the right get that damage in and for the top basically it's an unblockable which it does some good damage honestly really good damage and it's really worth it um going into that state because right here you can all it's just really cool playing with Shaolin because those mix-ups and everything uh, that you can do you can also mix it up and you can also faint um you can also faint the heavies too when you're in that state so if you're in the stand state, you basically go for like the left and everything, you can faint it. You can faint it, maybe go for a guard break, go for anything. It's all by chance, trying to mix your opponent up. Um, another thing you can do with Shaolin, um, well you can also go into the other state too by pressing the heavy. And you can do this. And you can basically do the same thing, so yeah. I can just do that. And I can also press X. Oh yeah, that's right. So for X and everything, um, when you're in the state, guys, if you want to press X, basically, you'll stun the opponent for a minute, and you can go with anything. You can go with a light, you can go with, um, I think it was the sweep for Shaolin, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Here's the light first. Wait, no, that was too far. That was too far away. There's the light. There's the light again. And see, like, it gets you out of stamina, my bad. I was trying to show you the guys a sweep, but I accidentally pressed the light on that one, my bad. So, yeah. Uh, if I go for X, and then go for X again, basically, there's the sweep. So, pretty much, if you want to do the light, basically, you go into the state, press X, press RB. And if you want to do the sweep, press X, press X again. Go for the sweep. Uh, it's really useful to use Shaolin like this. Um, this will get damage in, and also... Um, really you can mix it up um, to whatever you want to um, but I do highly recommend practicing going into the state in the light form and also going into the state in the heavy form and trying to hold it and then going for the mix ups and all that while going for the different types of moves with it that's what I would say is to just go into the training and practice getting into the states um, to the, like the stances and the states and all that and just getting, just getting your opponent mixed up and all that um, now Shaolin's running animation, uh, okay, hold on, hold on, let me just, uh, do this real quick, yeah, you need to stand still, so with Shaolin, um, okay, I, I said stand still, did I not, oh, oh my gosh, I made, uh, god dang it, Raptor, why can't you just, uh, dang it, <laughs> you, you're supposed to stand still, seriously, whole position, jeez, I, I pressed the move set, okay, so with Shaolin, the running, uh, Shaolin has a running kick, so if you were to do this and press X, you get a kick off like that, which is useful in Dominion uh, to get people. I think the I don't know if it wall splats. I don't think so. Nah, let me get you. Let me get you over there. Come on, get over there. Oh wait, okay, so yes, it does wall splat. So you can use this to your advantage and get some good damage in if you want to. Um, it's a good tactic, honestly, to get them on the wall, and it's really useful. Really useful getting them on the wall, and it's fun too. Sometimes uh, I'll see like four shellins coming like in a match or something. Like sometimes I'll see four shellins going into a match, and they basically do that the entire time. And it's just wow. <laughs> it's just hilarious. That's all I can say. 
but it is sometimes toxic, but eh. But sometimes it's just for fun whenever you're playing with friends. But if you're doing it against other people and everything, it can be seen as toxic. So, yeah, I, I would recommend not doing that. But it's all a personal preference. Now, the next thing I want to teach you guys a little bit is the guard break. Now, the guard break has a stun. Now, if you guys saw right there, I did do a guard break and I did push them back. So, basically, you get a stun off the guard break. If you go forward, if you go to the left, if you go to, okay, wait a minute, really? If you go to the right, basically it's all stuns. And um, the final thing that I could teach you guys, well, I could tell you guys, um, I also forgot one thing, one thing, one move I forgot. Basically, when you're in this state, um, I think it was, okay, so basically you go X, but you can also go for a heavy for that, an unblockable heavy. X, nope, that's not it. Unblockable heavy. And it's really useful in fights, it can mix, it can just get your opponent big time. However, highly useful and everything. Now, the final thing I could teach you guys, um, another opener. One opener, well, another opener, instead of the, doing the lights and everything, is basically this. Um, basically, what I did there is I dodged forward, dodged forward heavy. Basically, up A, R, T. Up A, R, T. And then basically, just go on with the chain. Really useful. Um, as an opener, I sometimes do it whenever I play Shaolin. Um, I haven't played Shaolin in a little bit because it's been a while since I played him. But yeah, this is this is my kind of like opener mix up and everything with uh, Shaolin. I recommend you um, use the training and everything just to come in here, practice the stances and everything, and try to use the moves that I uh, show you guys here. For the mix-ups and combos. So next, I want to teach you guys about the out-of-stamina punishes. And there's one out-of-stamina punish that I know. Let's do that. Okay, so the out-of-stamina punish for Shaolin that I know is this. Basically, what I did there was that I went for the stance. And I'm going to go here as they're on the ground. So basically, get them on the ground. And bam. And I would highly recommend going on the left side when knocking them down. And bam, just so much damage, and it's a good as damn punish. Um, you can also, well, I wouldn't say going for that. No, um, I would just stick with this one, just for a beginner. If you're trying to get into Shaolin, I would highly recommend just sticking with this one. Remember, putting them to the left. That's not what I wanted to do. Go to the left, and bam, like big damage right there. It's a good. Um, it's a good punish, honestly. Really easy punish. Really easy punish. So, highly recommend just getting them on the ground by going to the left. Um, just knocking them down on the left, on the ground, and pretty much like that. So now, I want to get into my final thoughts with Shaolin. Let's do that. Alright, with Shaolin... Shaolin's a... He's a... Uh, he's an okay hero in this game uh, if i if i have to be honest he's an okay hero the only thing about shaolin in my opinion when it comes to this game because um there are some good characters he he is a good character he is so he's an okay character it's just when it comes to like fours and brawls and duels shaolin he's he's strong in duels and brawls but he lacks, he lacks 44. That's what I'm saying. If you're new and everything, and you're trying to like get into him and play him with him in like 44s, you're going to ha have a hard time getting good with him in 44s. Because the only way to get really good with him in 44s is you got to be precise on what you're doing and know how to defend yourself in 4s and know the correct way to like punish people in 4s. Uh, in duels and brawls, Basically, you can use some of the combos and mix-ups and everything and have a good time getting your opponent, like, taking your opponent out, pretty much like that. Uh, so, if I were to put him on a tier list, I probably would give him a C. I'd say a C. Maybe a C+, plus, maybe, like a high C, mid C, around there. Um, it's just he lacks in fours, in my opinion, and... When it comes to, like, duels and brawls, he's stronger when it comes to, like, duels and 1v1s and 
two v twos and all that kind of cool stuff. But that's just my opinion. Um, there are more people that have their opinions out there, but this is just my opinion on how I see Shaolin. And in the meta, he's okay in the meta. Not bad hero. Really good damage. Overall, um, matchup wise, really good. Uh, really well, okay, okay matchup wise against other kind of people. Um, so like assassins and everything, he's okay against uh, vanguards too. Um, heavies, well, yeah, that's debatable. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Shaolin, he is worth. Um, I would have to say maybe 10k. I think he's 10k steel with the Wulin faction. So if you want to go and buy him, you're welcome to and everything. That is all up to you. You can buy Shaolin for 10k steel if you want to. He's really cool. Um, he's really cool. Really flashy with some of the mix-ups and everything. It's just, I think he's better as a brawler and a duelist than a 4v4. Uh, then a 44 kind of person, pretty much. So yeah, that's what I think of Shaolin in the meta right now. But I do hope you guys again enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like the video and also subscribe if you're new to For Honor and new to the channel and everything. And also, guys, I'm thinking about uploading some Halo Infinite content here on the channel too. I'm trying to do something different, maybe some Halo Let's Plays, and we might start doing other kinds of like what Let's Plays on the channel too. Um, Maybe some, maybe some horror game let's play or any kind of other let's let's play here on the channel. Like maybe, I might do an, I might do some indie games. Maybe I don't know. I'm still thinking on what I want to do here on the channel. Like what other games or what other review. Like if I want to review something on different games, I will. If I want to like, I'm thinking about doing movie reviews too. I don't know. I'm still thinking on everything else. Um, but I will let you guys know in the Discord what I want to do and what we're going to do here on the channel. So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like the video and, again, subscribe. And also comment down below what do you guys think about Shaolin and how would you use him in duels, dominion, brawls, anywhere. Would you use him defensively, offensively, or just regularly? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, but, again, with that being said, I am the Game Raptor. Like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Alright guys, peace out.